Greetings, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome, let me get oriented. I'm your host, Joan of Angels. Well, we have other hosts too. We have the Masters of Miracles. Let's move out of the way there. We have the Masters of Miracles with us, and we have all the angelic beings with that, that I'm painting that come through on the paintbrush. So greetings to you who are joining the show and please share with your friends. I'd appreciate it. The angels would appreciate it. Yes. So there's you, there's me, there's all of these divine beings that are here. And guess what? They're the divine beings that are with you too. So what does that make this? This makes this very mucho. Lots of angels between us and you. I would say gathering all angels, calling all angels. The Miracle Brigade is on its way. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for saying hello, sweetheart. Share with your friends. So as we're gathering people, and I've shared all I can really share. I've, I get into Facebook where they just don't let me share. So the fact that people are finding this is just all miraculous and it's really all up to you. So as we're getting people here, and I want to give it a little bit more, share it a little bit more out, and then we'll start. But I'm going to be doing readings for you from the new deck, Miracle Messages. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I'm going to be doing readings with the brand new deck. Whew. And I'm going to be offering a special for anyone who has bought the deck or wants the deck. And I should give you a little bit of hint about the special, but my readings are fairly pricey, my sessions. But Spirit told me that for anyone who bought a deck or is going to buy the deck before the end of February, February 28th is the last day this will be, you will get 50% off your reading. And all you have to do is order the deck between now and the end of the, of the month. Or if you're interested in the reading and you've already bought the deck, because some of you were so kind, you actually participated in the pre-sale campaign, which helped raise the funds to get the decks. And I am so filled with gratitude that you love the deck and that people are sharing it, that they told me that anyone who gets a deck, who's on this broadcast, who wants a reading, 50% off, which is pretty good. 111, it's a master number. So I love you. And that is what Spirit told us. And Michelle, thank you so much for sharing. And Michelle, you will get your first question and the first reading will be dedicated to you. If you're on the line, say hi. I don't bite. Or maybe I do. All right. So what are we doing tonight? So I'm just going to ground myself. And hopefully we're going to ground you. The being over here on this shoulder, well, she's like the angel of beauty. She's from Venus. She's a goddess, angel of beauty, of justice, of liberty, of harmony and balance. And she's been the subject of much questions recently. And she actually said, can you bring me on, Joan of Angels, so people can see me? A lot of the paintings get bored being alone in my house with me. And so they're asking us to do more events, to show people around, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So sharing it out. Thank you very much. And we're going to start now. Tonight I'm going to do Miracle Messages. So pulling some of the cards from the new Oracle deck. I am going to do messages for you if you want a card read for you. We're also going to do some miracle shares. So, you know, when I formed the Miracle Makers Club way back in 1998, first with my children, and then officially online in 2005, when I published the book, The Miracle Makers Club, of course, I'm, I'm not leaving to go get it for you. But when I did all that, I had no idea that years later I would actually be online teaching and sharing materials about the Miracle Toolkit. Hi, Rosina. So nice to see you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. And as I said, guys, questions and answers tonight. And hi, Marla. 
just to share with you, I, I don't know if you were on when I mentioned it, but anyone who has gotten a deck in the pre-sale campaign or is going to get a deck between now and February 28th gets 50% off my Soul Miracle Activation readings, which are 222. So it would be 111. And I just think that's great. So, oh, hello. Hello, hello. You made it. Oh, good. You know, I've been holding off on really starting the broadcast just so we can get our angel and miracle groove on. And so the first thing I'm going to do, wow, is actually, I don't know if you guys know how powerful essential oils are. But one thing I've learned recently is that in the morning, and also I've done this for years, but when I do house clearings, I'm going to take you on a house clearing soon. But in the morning is a very good time to work with orange citrus so i put a drop or two on the palm of my hand and i rub it and then i infuse it now why am i doing that publicly because i don't know i was told to share with you always how i use these tools of miracle mastery and what what i do so there we go. So you, if you want readings, guys, you can start asking for it because in a few minutes I'll get to it. Okay, so essential oils clear the auric field. And believe it or not, I've been using frankincense on my jaw and here and in, inside my mouth because I had an infection in my tooth that was starting to hurt. And I said, okay, I know that you can use frankincense, another essential oil for all sorts of things. I don't have an appointment with my dentist till next week, so what am I gonna do? So I started rubbing drops of this frankincense here and here, both sides, and lo and behold, amazing. I'm, I'm just amazed. All the kind of jaw pain went away. So what does that tell us? We can heal ourselves. All right, well, I'm gonna get to the readings in a few minutes, but I'm gonna first start by telling you a little bit about myself for a change. Because I realized that I go on and I re really share who I am. So guys, I am a chiropractor by trade. I graduated many years ago. You don't want to know how many years ago. And I spent my, my life really healing and inspiring many people. Because I knew that I had special gifts. And that my gift was to heal if it was hands-on through chiropractic or through nutrition or through healing or through this angel meditation work. But that came later. So I'm going to read to you. This is in the deck. And my dear friend, Michelle Rizzio, wrote this. And I love it. Awakening to Joan of Angels. So guys, if you think it's easy to awake to who you are, no. You actually have to say yes and then be brave, courageous, and bold. All right. On Halloween of 2013, angels asked to be painted in 30 days. 33 angels, actually and thus revealed a portal to allow Joan of Angels to emerge as a, a messenger for divine beings. In other words, it shifted my consciousness from the 3D realm of chiropractic and healing and medical in a certain way to the interdimensional realms and, and showed me how to create these portals. So for me, it was a dream come true. And within the decade, she, that's me, Joan of Angels, has become known as a visionary artist and oracle bringing messages of hope, miracles, healing, and meditation. I, I'm just blown away. So through accepting the miracle pathway, the miracle pathway, guys, is our willingness to say yes. Our willingness to say, yes, I believe it can happen. Yes, I will. Yes, I pray. Yes, I know. Yes, I am willing to live live in this act of gratitude because I can feel my purpose and my mission is percolating and that which I'm here to do is unfolding. And that is the miracle pathway. The miracle pathway was when I said yes to 33 angels or the miracle pathway was this month, January 2nd, when I said yes to 44 days of awakening, 45 if you count Irvine, but 44 days of doing videos, yes. So I say to you, what are you saying yes to? Okay, what are you saying yes to? 
really powerful. Had no idea that would come through, but that's really important, guys. Look at that. It's easy to say yes to lower frequency, by the way. Yes to the things that keep us busy. Yes to doing things we don't really want to do. But what do we really want to say yes to? Yes to being a miracle maker. Yes to going the extra step. I was talking to a dear friend today who is also an oracle. And she said, Joan, you've inspired me to want to do my own deck. And why hasn't she done it before? Well, because we're all busy. And so we want, when we walk the miracle pathway, we commit to going to the next step. Okay, so through accepting this miracle pathway, painting my 33 angels, look, now I have like 333 angels around me, okay, all calling for you and they're humans. Didn't tell me that part of the equation, by the way. So through accepting this miracle pathway, Joan of Angels discovered how to activate and open portals for divine transmission from angels and messengers to transverse through. So, January 2nd, when I began this 44 days of awakening, now that we're today 50-something, what they have now told me in retrospect whew, is that we created a strong miracle pathway, not just for me, but for all of you a very strong miracle pathway for you to follow. And I guess now I understand why that painting asked to come. You know, I'm the last one to know what, what I'm doing when I'm doing it, just so you know. So with that in mind, I want to show you how I had a miracle explosion this week. Totally, totally, totally. So I started acting last year. Why? Because when I was in my early 20s, I always wanted to act and I had a fantasy in the back of my mind. And Lord knows, I started to say, well, how come this never happened? I never acted. And that night, my girlfriend calls me. She says, Joan, there's a role for this homeless woman. And I think it's you. And if you've read my book, The Miracle Makers Club, you know that my kids and I were virtually homeless and were, were everything we had was in our car. And so this was really profound for me. So that led to the second film, Acts of Kindness, and I won an award for the best minor role actress in the film in Coachella Valley Independent Film Festival. And that night, so bizarre, I don't know if you can see it, but I was gifted the Golden Angel Award, a Golden Angel. Well, I think that's kind of an acknowledgement that Spirit is acknowledging us for this work. So. This, since January 2nd, we had the red carpet. We're going to take this one away. Let's just give me a second. We'll take that away. Yes. Oh, took the wrong one away. Oh, my God. You are to go, love. Huh. Okay. There. Well, now I'm gone, but who cares? So we had the red carpet event which was extremely exciting because it was an acknowledgement of a job well done. For me, it was an acknowledgement that a dream that I'd had since I was in my early 20s actually did come true. And I had a beautiful gown. I was all dressed up and I was wearing an original Joan of Angels. And so this just happened the other day. Quite exciting. Oh, my God. I don't know if I'm going to get these out of here. Huh. There we go. Hi, here I am. So that was the beginning of the week. Then I go off to a luncheon. Some of you know who George Nori is. Here he is. Oh, not quite working as I thought. All right, well, you don't need to see this cute picture of me with George Nori, huh? I look great. Got to see George, got to see Tom, got to give them both the new miracle deck. Why? Because I want to be on, not back just on Coast to Coast, but I want to be on Beyond Belief with my visuals. So I got to do that. And then what did I get to do? Well, I got to do an event where I did miracle messages online, on stream, in person, and share with people the messages. So I had a fabulous week. There. 
I hope you are keeping track of your miracles, guys, because it's only like by by telling you about it. And this is the good news. I'm going to be activating a Miracle Makers Club for all of you to share your good news and your miracles with us. So if you'd like that, that's great. OK, so this, these are the cards. I'm going to post where you can get them. There you go. Now, remember what I said? Yes, I think it looks good. I do have my glasses. Here we go. They just don't seem to work when I need them. Okay, so with the deck, for the rest of this month, till February 28th, and for anyone who participated in the pre-sale and got the deck already, I am offering 50% off your Miracle Activation readings. And those readings are very expensive. They're $222 a session. So if you want a Miracle Activation reading with your deck of cards, well, if you have the cards already, uh, post it and say, I want my reading, or email me. Or if you don't, then get the deck and with the comments say, please want, to re want my reading. And you'll get a link to it. So now we are, and you notice I don't see so well, so we're going to go down here. We're going to start from the very beginning. No, there was someone before Rosina. There we go, Michelle. All right. I don't know if Michelle wants a reading, Michelle, but I'm so grateful that you are on. You started the ball rolling. You are, oh, she started the miracles rolling, not the ball. Okay, we have to say what's going on. Okay. There. So, Michelle, I will pull a card for you, hoping that you're on, sweetheart. Let me know. But the angels, got to fix this a little bit because I can't see myself. Okay, there. All right. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and the most exciting thing is several psychics online are, or several people online, readers and oracles are using the card decks too. So for Michelle, hun, your first message is all about divine contact. And what does that mean? Oh, gosh, I wonder if I can show you the painting. Light beings are with you. Now, when I do reading, if you're online with us now, I can guarantee that you're going to receive this message too. So... Breathing in the energy, knowing, remember, if, I, if you were on when I started, I said there are many beings with us, many dimensions. And so they're with us now, feeling and experience and activation. So feel into your crown chakra, feel this energy coming through. This is for everyone. And hmm. so as I'm smelling this, this orange essential oil, breathing it out, sending it through to you through these higher vibrational frequencies. So light beings are with us now. Follow their guidance. They are the ones that are keeping us strong. So there you go, Michelle. But you started it all off for every one of us. And Rosina, yes, it's so nice to see you. And you are so polite that, of course, you're going to have a reading. Yes, fix. do this with your teeth. Frankincense. And I had no idea. I would have said clove. I have done clove essential oil, one drop on a cotton ball. But it's so it's so intense that it takes your breath away. And and it does take the, the pain away. But the frankincense I've been putting out here because I felt like I had an infection. And and then I put a drop or two in my mouth. They also use it for brain cancer, tumors, and bone cancer okay so you do try that now but let's give you a little miracle message my love okay hmm. when i read cards guys especially my own deck which i find so exciting i will put them on my third eye also if you have the deck, it's recommended that you put it under your pillow every night for seven nights. The messages you will receive are life-changing, okay? All right. So this is specifically for our dear friend Rosina, but remember, we all take these messages. It's the path of the initiate. So Rosina... This is very serious when we pull a card like the path of the initiate. That's like saying, okay, follow the voice of spirit. Choose the higher vibrations. 
Choose that which you know is going to take you towards your destiny. Now, everything does, beloved, take us to our destiny. But you know, some things are more laid out for us. Like saying yes to doing 33 angels in 30 days or yes to 44 days of miracles. Oh, boy. You know what they just told me? See, they said, well, Joan, dear, soon you'll be saying yes to 55 something. Hmm. 55 somethings. Whew. All right. Path of the initiate. We say yes, knowing we are being guided by spirit to courageously step into your destiny, our destiny. And so I would say to all of you, if you're on tonight, it's not an accident. And boy, I think I see better without them. It's not an accident that you're here, and that means that you are on the pathway of the initiate. I always like to go for the highest good of all concern. Okay, hope that helped, love. And uh, do you let me know how that remedy works? Guys, there's a chiropractor who dedicated her life to wellness. Let me say what wellness is from an angelic and a alternative perspective. It's the ability to heal your body from the inside out. In other words, to raise your vibrations or even just to raise your energy. It's 7 p.m. California time. There were years when maybe I would have taken coffee or caffeine to give me the energy to do this show tonight. But in a sense, that's a fake energy. And so what did I do tonight to do the show? I did my protein drink, um, smelling my essential oils to raise my energy. And, and that is more authentic when we do what comes from the inside out. So my dear, beautiful friend, Marla, I love her. We have a card for Marla. And I'm just scrolling up, scrolling up as we go. And sometimes I feel so blessed when I see old friends, familiar friends, friends that I've met at the Conscious Life Expo, friends that have my first deck, which only actually I found one in the closet. So really I only sold about 97 of these decks are in other people's hands. And um, I'm so excited that one of those people is with us tonight. <clears throat> and so she's going to actually get two cards. She's going to get a card from the messengers, the earth messengers being sent by the divine. They were the first group that included, it wasn't the 33 angels. It was the angels that came after when they said, paint us and we will come. Bringing divine messages, just like these masters of miracles. So for Marla, who's an amazingly beautiful soul, well, the first thing we want to share with you, hon, is you, your guardian angel is with you, protecting you. Okay, we are always with you, showing you the way you are protected. So understand for all of us that we pull the guardian angel so she can remind us that she's with us. I paint these angels so they remind us they're with us. Now, the person who needed to be reminded the most of was me. I will share that with you really openly that I'm the one who needs to be constantly reminded. And that's why I remind you. And it's a wonderful, beautiful cycle. But our guiding guardian angel is always with us. She's always protecting us. And so if you knew that I could wave and you could wave this magic wand and all your dreams could come true, Marla, that's the significance of your guardian angel. And for all of you, so as I wave this magic wand, and it's a selenite wand that was gifted to me by a very beautiful spiritual woman, but as we wave this magic miracle wand, knowing we're going to manifest our miracles, know that in, belief, in the belief of them, that is how they manifest. No doubt, beloveds. So Marla, know that you are protected with your guardian angel and Saint Germain. St. Germain has come forth for all of us. I transmute all fear. Now, isn't that amazing? Here we are. We're talking about believing that they're with us. And we have St. Germain cutting through all negativity, transforming, calling forth the violet flame to shift, transform, transmute the energetics. This painting is in the home of a beautiful spiritual man. 
who also works with the violet flame to clear it. When you have this art or you're wearing a scarf, those angel beings are raising your frequency as well. Feel free to call on their energy to just help you transmute. All right. So I hope that helps, my dear one. All right. Let's see as we go. Well, there we go to Katie. Hi, Katie, 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 Katie. <laughs> well, now why are we laughing about the, the name Katie just feels so uplifting. And I asked myself, I asked them, I said, why is Katie such giving me such delight tonight? And they say, well, remind your dear friend Kate about her cape. Now, you might know more about that than I know, but some of us angels, some of us do-gooders, some of us who are here in complete service have a cape, a miracle cape, a goodness cape, an angel cape, our service cape, that cape we wear when we go out in the world and we spread light and love and joy. However, we forget to remove that cape when we get home to our front door. So rather than be able to be our authentic self at home, we have this cape on. And you know this cape has all the energies from the outside world and all, everyone else's thoughts, fears, desires, and, and issues. So, Kate, Kate, take that cape. All of you, when you get home, when you've been out in the world, take your cape and hang it up on an energetic doorway and just brush that auric field of yours clear. All right, now I can read the card. So yes, I do read energetic vibrations. I do miracle activation sessions. I've been doing them for years. In fact, I did them as a chiropractor intuitively and instinctively. I would just tell people, okay, I'm going to turn on your power. And with this adjustment, we would literally turn on their power. Now, can I do that in a session over, over Skype or over, you know, Zoom like this? Yes, I can. I don't physically do it where I'm adjusting you like a chiropractor would, but I'm I'm esoterically doing it as if I was doing it. So I'm doing it in an energetic field and in the astral and higher dimensional level. So you will receive it. And why is that important? Well, one of the things I have discovered, haven't shared much about this, you're probably the first to know, is that this first cervical vertebrae here, Okay, put your hand behind your head. That's your brain stem and the first cervical vertebrae. Think of it like a light switch, okay? If the light switch is on, the lights are on. <clears throat> if because of wear, tear, accidents, aging, fear, nutritional imbalances, a whole environmental toxins, vaccines, everything. If it's closed off, then the light is dim. Our energy is dim. So part of the soul activation, these miracle activations, I've incorporated it in recently, is actually energetically opening up this. Now, we could all do this together somewhat. Okay, so you can imagine right now that you have, see, how do I want you to do this? Ah. Just, fit, just flash on the light switch, guys, and flip it up, okay? Use your energetic imagination because they've told me that we're not to take you through that today, okay? All right, so Katie, did I read your card yet? No. Let's read your card, your miracle card. Oh, well, that's so interesting. The card I got, so there's four cards in here that talk about the miracle pathway and the miracle toolkit, and this is telling you that you need the miracle toolkit. Shima Morton. Isn't that funny? So I should put my friend Shima on the show. I'm not going to, but I will. Won't. Okay. Prepare yourself for a miracle awakening. So learn more. They want you to go sign up, love. But prepare yourself to become a magnet for miracles. So all of you out there, let's breathe this in. All of my sessions are teaching sessions. I can't help it. It is the Oracle teacher in me, the readings and teachings. What can I say? I hope you like it. Okay. So Katie, there you go. Miracle pathway for you. Kismet. 
Kismet, you're such an angel love. Thank you for sharing. All of you, thank you for sharing. Where are these miracle cards? Oh, I went to bed again last night with it under the pillow, and I found myself like up somewhere, and I was flying. Whew. I was flying with 44 angels. Crazy. Crazy but delicious. Delicious dream. Yep, put them under your pillow for seven nights. All right. Ah, oh, the red fire goddess. Yes, inner beauty, serenity, moving forward with grace and ease. So that is a wonderful card because when we pull a card like that, that that's that's really aligning you with, from the inside out, love. All right, breathing in, feeling this resonance with your with your cord, with your grounding into the earth, with your your uh, antennas up to the heaven. And by the way, guys, on my website, Awakening to Miracles, and on YouTube, hopefully I'll get it up on my website soon. I could use help, but. But the videos that I did, these 44 days of awakening, I'm getting rave reviews. So there's no charge for them. They're free. They're part of my miracle pathway to gift them to you. So on that, you'll see this one. And we had a beautiful time. And their meditations come through on this and their messages. Okay. So, oh, I got a compliment, but I have to talk to Ivana first. Anne Marie, I'll hop up to you after, but I got to meet this beautiful lady, Ivana, Ivana, Ivana Vozo Morano. Hello, hello, hello. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I thought so. So the letter I, Ivana, start, is a nine number, and that is all about spiritual mastery. So you have a name that has a very, very high frequency. And it does come from royalty. It also has to do with use of, of power, use and abuse, being afraid of. But understand that you, it is time for you to move the, move the blanket off your head, off your temple. All right, let's see what the miracle messengers have to say. Hoo, 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 of course. And it's so funny because I channel and then, and then the car it follows is just perfect. Archangel Michael, why is this perfect? Because what does he want you to do? Remove all obstacles, all obstacles in your way. Cut through any fear, any negativity, any doubt. Use that sword of Archangel Michael whew, whew, to let go of anything. So that is your message. As you release all that no longer serves, you will have more room for the new. All right, for the positive, and your path will become clear. So Archangel Michael giving you that message, love. And remember, if you are on the air with us tonight, all these messages are for you. All right, so now, hi, new here. You seem really cool. So Anne-Marie, I am really cool, just so you know. I'm cool because I said yes to who I am. So I don't hide it, even though sometimes coming out as an angel is a little mortifying. Oh my God. Like the time I went with my daughter down to Santa Monica, we're wandering around and we're in some store. I don't know what it was. And they liked my scarf or something. And I said, well, I'm an artist. And I don't know why. And really, I said, well, my name is Joan of Angels. My daughter, oh my God, I thought she would die. She looked at me and she just whispered in my ear after. And she went like this. She whispered in my ear, it's like, uh, can't you introduce yourself as Dr. Hangarter or something professional, mom? You can, you could lead with the Joan of Angels later on. So leading with who we are, you just got to do it. You just have to do it. Otherwise, it's kind of, it, it's just not authentically you. So hi, Anne-Marie. I'm so glad you're on here. And I do have a card for you. Just in case you're new here and you don't know what we're doing. I'm sharing, oh God, does this work? Trying to share, may not happen. Huh, just removed what I was sharing. Okay, I'm just sharing myself. I'm gonna be grateful that I'm not being removed from here. But we're sharing the Miracle Messenger deck. 
These are the Oracle cards that I was guided to release. The official release was on February 15th. 45, it was 45 days of awakening to miracles every day. I did a different card and a reading. Okay, so that's what I am doing. All right. Ooh, I'm a fan. Fan of angels. All right, one of the things is if you have the deck in your card, you know it'll protect you if you have an accident. I don't know why I'm telling you that, Anne-Marie. The Heartmobile. Now, this is really too cool. Now we get the Heartmobile. Well, what is that? It's an angel transport vehicle. And what did I just say? It's really cool to have these cards in your car. So angel transport vehicle, how we get from one place to the next, how we get to the interdimensional realms, how we get to heaven. So this is a heart mobile. Hop on board. Why? Good things are happening. Yes. Breathe it in. Believe it, honey bunny. Good things are happening when your heart leads the way. Do you see all these cute hearts? Yeah. Now, all these paintings are here in the house. If you want a tour of the studio, if you're interested in the art, having the art, the originals of the art is very sacred, <clears throat> as is having prints and some of the other stuff. But the original art is really meant for people who, who are invested in their spiritual pathway, invested in the vibrations of their home and in their sanctuary and in what they bring to the world. So that's the original art in all of these paintings. You know, this year they must go because I have new paintings that want to come. Okay, that was your message. If you like them, please review my my webs my Joan of Angels page. And if you like it, hi Joan, hi Jackie. And if you like the reading, do let me know. Just like you, you know, I like to know if I'm doing good. Don't tell me if I'm doing bad. <sighs> Get enough of that from Miracle Busters. All right. So we're going to do a little reading for Jackie. Welcome to this, this program, Jackie. And I'm so honored that you're here, that you're becoming miracle makers, that you're interested in these miracles. So, oh, upside down. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Oh, they told me that for you, Jackie. And Jay, by the way, the number J is one new beginnings. In fact, they told me to, like, really just bang on it. It's my crown chakra. But also, J, for any of us Js, there is a wing for us in heaven. If your name begins to J, I'm Joan, you're, you're Jackie. But just don't get the, your room is not ready yet. But there is a wing, and there are wings for all of us, just so you know. But I'm I'm very familiar with the J's. Okay, here we go. Okay, the Arcturian, who who who, Jackie, the Arcturian, the Arcturians. Now I don't know if you're familiar with the star beings, the other planets the beings that come down and work with us and work with humanity to lift up the vibration here. The Arcturian is extremely high level vibrational being from Arcturus, the planet, and they are guardians and protectors over the planet. And they are working with you. They are extremely wise. They, they are here for the highest good, sacred wisdom, energetic upgrade, Divine healing pours through you now. Surrender and receive these gifts. This original went to a woman I met at Contact in the Desert last summer. She was going to buy the print. And then I said, oh, my God, I have the original at home. So I ran home and got her the original. And now this original is in some place like Ohio. So the Arcturians, very high spiritual beings, feel that energetic upgrade, guys. And, of course, that explains why I was called to really work with the bowl right before we did that card. So thank you so much for your energetics because of you. <clears throat> moving up, moving up. Katie, yes, that depression, honey. Take that cape off, that service cape out in the world. Use my Archangel Michael's sword to clear away anything that no longer serves you. And yes, these are my paintings in the, in the background. I don't know if I'm a wonderful artist. Frankly, sometimes I'm ashamed of my art. I think, oh, my God, it's primitive. And one of the paintings, she's in this deck. 
when I painted her, she also is disturbing. When I painted her, she asked for a nose ring. Her name's Adana, and she asked for a nose ring. And I said, to her, I don't do nose rings. I don't know why I said that. I was getting embarrassed, you know. And suddenly within me, I heard this voice that like chastised me. It was like, beloved, you are to paint me as I am, not as you want me to be. So that was a real eye opener for me because then I realized, okay, I'm a paintbrush. I can't have any feelings about the art. I can't have any judgment. Okay. I cannot have any judgments about the art. This one's good. This one's not. This one's primitive. This one's art. I have to go into this neutral state and paint what I see. And it's not till someone sees the painting later that I understand sometimes why I painted it. So, but meanwhile, the, there are many, many, many paintings here because I have not shown my work until this year. Been very shy, very uh, introverted with it, learning, just painting, okay? Being an initiate on my own path. And now they want to be shared. So if any of you are interested, if you think you want to purchase the art, well, two things you can do. Go to joanofangels.com and go to the shop. There's lots of prints and jaclays there and wearables. Or if you're interested in the original art, that's earthmessengers.org or most of the new art's not on it. So we can do a session on, we can do online sessions to look at it. Okay, but thank you so much. Ah, so let's believe. Love, crazy, and delicious. Hello, hello, hello. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just love this. Thank you for blessings. Okay, here we go. Carrie Ann from Nova Scotia. Oh, dear. Well, first thing I have to tell you, Carrie Ann, is that I was, I live in the desert. It's usually very warm here near Palm Springs. In fact, over the weekend, it was 80 one day. Okay, I went, like, took off my sweater, walked up in the sun. And then tonight, they said it's going to be 45. And I was like, oh, my God, it's so cold. So I'm sure it's very cold where you are. And you must have a very warm heart. I said, no, that sounds corny, but it's true. Okay. So we'll, we'll pull a card for you. We're so grateful. And here we go. Again, these are the Miracle Messages by Joan of Angels, by the Masters of Miracles. And I did say it. I'm going to say it again if you just join me. <clears throat> if you participated in the pre-sale campaign and already have a deck, or you get your deck by February 28th, no later, if you say you want a reading, you can get 50% off the Miracle Activation readings, which are usually 222. So you would get your... Your 60 minute, 55, 60, 63, whatever that is, miracle activation reading for $111. Isn't that nice? It is nice. Yes. It's a master number. So you'll still go through those portals. And what am I going to do in that reading? I'm going to also do that angel activation that I've been talking to you about. All right. So, Carrie, here I am. So I have a motto, Carrie, not one soul shall be lost. That's what I came here to do. And so on this on this um, show, not one person will be left behind. Just so you know. Okay, da-da-da-da. Oh, the healing angel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let me show her to you. She is the divine healing angel. Angel of healing and restoration. So what does that tell me? She's sending a lot of healing and rest to help restore you every day. Now, everyone repeat after me. Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. I am healthy, wealthy, and happy. I'm getting better and better every day in every way. We repeat these affirmations over and over and over again. And that is the card we pulled for you. Angel of healing, allow yourself time for rest and restoration. Heather, Heather Nichols. Yes, thank you so much, love. And I'm noticing them. Gosh, I hopped on um, Deanne Cup 
I can't, can't pronounce it right, Caputo and Sue Broom. They have been doing readings, readings, readings with these cards. I'm so grateful. If you want to do readings with these cards, just let me know. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. So, Heather, because you were so kind with your compliments, these are 44 paintings, by the way, from the sanctuary here. There's one behind me. There's another that's not in this deck. She's the queen of angels. And she wanted to be seen tonight. Okay, Heather, Heather, Heather. Let's see what we got for you. The Rainbow Warriors. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, the Rainbow Warriors are so that generation that's come to be the doers, to shift the planet to be the ones that do the transformations that are happening now. So my generation were the volunteers. We, we brought in the awareness and the materials and the initial teachings and the higher levels. And as you guys study and learn more and follow these pathways, you will be the doing of the planting of miracle seeds. So all of your talents, your skills are needed now. Now, now, that doesn't mean next week next year it means now 2018 beloveds this is an upside down year it is not going to be all smooth sailing and so it is time for you to share your gifts and be the best self you can so your talents and skills my love and heather and all of you are needed now wave your miracle wand and speaking of miracle wands, wow, I got to get Diane's link for you because she makes miracle wands that are scrumptious. All right. Now, how do I pronounce it? Josie Clement. And for me, we do have something. Oh, and I, I guys, I am going to get to all of you. No worries. No fears. We are the Energizer Bubble Buddy. <laughs> The Energizer Bubble, the Energizer Bunny, the Energizer Angel. We're motivated and fueled by spirit, guys. All right. So this is for Josie. A J. Don't forget, there's a wing in heaven for you, love. All right. Your room's not ready. Hmm. Your room's not ready. But I am healing. You need to do healing on yourself. Yes, Mother Mary came through right when I said that. Oh, we're right on tonight. Blessings of divine self-care, self-love, self-nurturing. She says, please go listen to the YouTube video, uh, the first card one of Awakening to Miracles series, because that was the one on Mother Mary, and I cried all through that one. I don't want you to see it because I cried. Nothing spectacular about that. I want you to see it because she talks about self-healing. She says, in fact, that we can't move forward on our journey if we don't take all of us with us, and if we have fake energy, we're not really taking care of ourselves, we will go flat on our face the moment we get out. So she is telling you, honey bunny, take care of yourself, all right? Self-care, self-nurturing. And I have a brand new friend, Sue Schumacher. And I don't know if you heard this, Sue, but if you got a deck in January or anytime up to February 28th, I am discounting my soul activation readings for you, my miracle activation readings, which includes an angel activation. Of, instead of my normal 222, I am going to keep them for 111. Yeah, they told me to do that. And it's only for your group, by the way. So it's not like I'm going to go online tomorrow. They just told me to do that tonight. And isn't it funny? I see some of you. Also, if you have one of the decks, please make sure you put it under your pillow for seven nights. Why? Because it takes seven nights for them to download all this information into you so that you will go to the dances at night in your sleep in the mystery temples. All right. So, Sue, so nice to have met you. And here we go. So, this, this painting itself is right now in Sedona, the painting in the Tesla Gallery in Sedona. This is just an excerpt or a piece of that painting. Now, this painting is important because when I was in Sedona, Sedona revealed itself to me. So number one, Sue, what is going on for you reveals itself. But a master teacher is coming into your life. Maybe it's the masters of miracles. Maybe it's us. 
but master teacher because guidance and spiritual mastery are coming through for you now be prepared to be amazed in other words be prepared to be taken to a new level a new dimension and expect miracles so when i saw these mountains in sedona and i walked through the the vortexes i i could see ancient ones ancient beings and the mountains literally opened up to me to reveal number one the light cities crystal cities and these master beings so they are teachers when you pull this it is your time to call in a master teacher all right so and it's just thrilling to see you all oh the list gets bigger and here i said not one soul shall go without a reading so there we go susie angel campbell very 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 nice to meet you and I love that name. I'm wondering if it's Native American as well. Whew. So let's clear our energy because I've been doing some readings. They want me to take a whiff of my sweet orange. So when I do my house blessings, I use this. It really raises the whole energy of the house. Okay. I'm clearing me and I'm clearing the cards. So if you're new to this broadcast, I'm Joan of Angels. I am sharing my new deck. Miracle messages from the masters of miracles, the masters of miracles, all um, paintings of angels, vortexes, and spiritual beings here in the sanctuary. The ones that keep me up at night, the ones that are giving us all messages. So Susie, angel, Cam Campbell, hello, love. This card is for you. Well, isn't that interesting? So the other night I had an event here. Lord knows what happened, but I put some decks together. So, and I don't think there's anything wrong with actually pulling another card because people, there's more, there's got to be more than one rainbow warrior on this broadcast. So you too are a rainbow warrior. It means your mission is to plant miracle seeds across the planet. Your mission is to use your gifts and spread your, spread miracles through the work that you do. And your time is now no time to waste. The water is not getting cleaner. The air is getting dirtier. People are getting sicker. Get to work. Your skills are needed now. All of you rainbow warriors, that is your message. Okay. So Jackie, messages from your mother. I, I would never actually broadcast myself as a medium. Okay. But that being said, oftentimes in readings, they come through. They want me to use the other deck. The, the man, so I had a dear friend, Dante. Oh, we can't see his painting. He, who passed in 2013, in 2012. The week, the day before he passed, he reiterated over and over again to me, because he was in a trance, Joan, you are going to be a famous visionary artist. Joan, you are going to be a famous visionary artist. So oftentimes when I do this work, he is with me. And it's possible one of those paintings up there on that second shelf there is him. But my eyes aren't working that far. And so I'm going to ask for his help. Oh, oh my God, something's coming through because I don't yawn on the air. Well, all right, loved one. This is what I what I pick up and I'll share this with you. May, not, may or may not be the message you're hoping for, but the first one is to recognize that, okay, where do I start? We'll start with this one, Celestial Gateway. The doors are opening, honey, walk through them. Don't hold back. Don't be shy. Don't even ask why. Just know that you are being called. It is your time. Trust that and all will be well. You, no hiding in the shadows, beloved one. 
And Adana comes through. She is that star being I spoke of before when I said the one who wanted the nose ring painted. And you can see her nose ring right here. And she said, beloved, paint my nose ring. And you know, you're to paint me as I am. And so she's saying, you are to be who you are. And when you go to bed the next few days, ask to receive this mis message, these wisdom from the higher realms, because you will be sharing them and they are coming through for you. Trust that. Okay. Hi, Rhonda. Thank you, Jackie, for being on. Don't forget you're a nine. Uh, you're a J. So you're on the heavenly realms. Wow, I think we're getting more and more people. So Rhonda, hello, Rhonda. First time here. Okay, giving you the energetic up. Great. I am Joan of Angels. Joan of Angels, Joan of Angels. And what are we doing? We're sharing miracle messages. We're dancing with the miracle angels, the masters of miracles, 44 oracles, 44 angels, portals, vortexes, angel transport vehicles that are on these cards that are here to help you step into your miracle awakening. Whew, was that a 30 second elevator or what? So that is what I'm doing, honey. And I do soul miracle activation readings. And I'm here to heal and inspire millions of people across the planet and to awaken us to our miracles and shift this planet. Okay. So here we go. This is for our new friend, Rhonda. Okay. A first timer. The eye of heaven. Oh, okay. This painting somewhere in the house. Oh, in the, in the, okay, next time I'm going to be in the angel shop, the eye of heaven. Do you feel the energy? You are being awakened, energized. Okay. Awakened, energized, and activated right now. Expect miracles. All right, Rhonda. Expect miracles. And this is so interesting because I was going to share a little bit about the miracle toolkit. But I'm going to share it right now because I have one of them. This is the Angel Medallions. Okay. These are $35. I don't even know if I have them on my Facebook page, Joan of Angels. If not, you can just say you want one. Um, when you wear these, they actually raise your frequency and your energy. So, and that, and they activate, energize, and awaken you. So that is your card, my love. Receive this now. Okay. Sharon. Well, my beloved friend, Sharon is an amazing artist. She's a healer. Last time I heard, she was doing remarkable work up in Ojai. She's an angel being too and an earth messenger. And it's just such a privilege to have her on the show. I don't know if you know, uh, Sharon, that I've done these new decks, the Miracle Messengers. Masters of Miracles Dancing. You have not yet been to the studio, but Sharon's seen some of our art. We have some mutual friends. And we've done a little painting on the cell phone together. <laughs> anyway, so Sharon, I am going to give you a message because you're here and because I just remember you so clearly. And, you know, it's so interesting. What I heard my guides say is that they said, okay, Joan, when you work with Sharon, like drill a, drill a hole through space between my third eye and yours. So let's just see it done. And holding on to that very special space. So let's see, this is for Sharon, freedom girl. Free, e dumb. You are in your flow. Spread your wings and go. Let go. Take flight. So this card, Sharon, is telling me that your time, you have done a lot of work. Actually, you've sacrificed a lot. You've done a lot. But now the flow is beginning. And it's like catching a miracle wave, guys. It's like being a surfer. You paddle. You think you're going to, oh, my God, do I have any more strength left? And then, ha, huh, just when... Now, I don't serve. I'm just imagining. But I can tell you that catching my miracle wave was like that. So that's why I, I share it like that. But then you then you glide. But you still have to always, you know, keep it going. So, Sharon, you are in your miracle flow. So go for it. Oh, my goodness. So here we have Carrie Ann Gunderson here. I love visiting Palm Springs. 
Okay, you do have a very giving heart, Carrie. And across the freeway is the Desert Heart Sanctuary of Joan of Angels. And I would be so honored if you give me a heads up when you're coming. You can come and have a healing. You can come just to see the art, whatever. It's And you can come just to do Facebook Live with me. So I'm always happy when I just meet new people, especially. This is an amazing, this is the heart vortex of the planet, by the way, Carrie. And so that you have a very giving heart is not a surprise. Okay, so what do we got for her? <gasps> the magic carpet. Well, this one's a great one. This part came out of the Krishna series. And what do they say? They say, hop on board, hop on, enjoy the ride. Go for it, love. All right. Unknown destination, adventures, miracles, and magic. And of course, it means we have to be willing, courageous, brave, and bold to hop on. So let's go. Anyway, so nice of you to show up and like my page, Joan of Angels, get the deck, miracle messages. You'll love them. And as I said, you can get a, a reading for 50% off if you get the deck between now and the end of the month. And Marla has the deck. She, I'm, I'm not violating anything. She commented on it. So I now pull cards every day from your first deck as well as your new deck. I know. This is, this is amazing to me that I'm sitting here pulling from both decks. So they're both different. They're both powerful and they're both different. So I suppose if 20 people want this deck, I would I would redo it. A lot of work gloves. Okay. Now, Rhonda. Oh, there she is. Hi, Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda. Well, you get a reading too, sweetheart, because you hopped on board. And you've always been a wonderful angel supporter. So here we go. Yeah, because you're an angel on a mission, of course. Isn't that crazy? Angel on a mission. So, where am I? There she is, Rhonda. This was for you. This is for everyone. Angel on a mission. So, just remember that being pur purposeful, intention, being renewed, a sense of purpose. So, that's what we got for you, my love. Just do that. And then, thank you, thank you. And we go up to and L. Wash. Oh, love my energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for loving my energy. <sighs> Sometimes during my life, I've been told to be quiet. I've been told, oh, you're too loud. Oh, you're too this. Oh, you're too enthusiastic. Oh, you're too miracle-minded. Oh, you're too angelic-like. Oh, you're too boop, little, 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 boo. Okay. And all of that crushed my spirit, right? So when you... When you start to set, to reframe, like reframe everything and you start to believe in yourself, then you got, you go, okay, I am that angel. I am that, you know, live wire. I am that person that can come out. I am all of those things. And that's been the shift in my consciousness. I am enthusiastic. Do you know that's one of my gifts? Would you be listening to me if I was dull as a doorknob? No. Okay. I am out of the box. And, and those are the things that make me unique. And so I say this to you so you can celebrate what it is that makes you unique. Oh, I love how people know each other. I'm getting up there. All right. So I'm back to Angie. Oh, my God. I'm getting lost. All right, Angie, life is calling you. New opportunities are there for you and miracles are manifesting. This one's part of the Ankh series, and I do have one more Ankh here. It's a wooden wooden painting, one of two. It's 18 by 24, and it's an amazing Ankh. It's filled with crystals and jewels, and it has the eye, the Egyptian eye, so um, someone else here might actually be interested in seeing it. Yes, it has two Egyptian eyes. I, I, it's in the garage. I'm not going to run in and get it. But very powerful, these onks. This one is in the home of a sanctuary up on the top of the mountaintop. So rebirth, honey. Life is calling you. Life, I love you. All is groovy. If you remember um, Simon and Garfunkel. 
All right, Heather, yes, I saw you with Diane. Wasn't that great? I couldn't believe it. I was about to take a nap and saw that she was using my cards and she was so kind. But I, yeah, you saw me, your, your name looks familiar with Terry and Debbie. Just so you know, Debbie was the graphic designer for these cards. So I wanted to share that with you. So there's Joyce Barella, first time here. <laughs> All these new people coming, coming, coming. Okay. And I may not even know if I've done a reading for you by now because all the names are blending, but I know I haven't done this for Joyce. Right. Okay. Joyce. 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 Okay. Angel activation. You are receiving energetic upgrades. I think someone else got the other UFO one. Um, but this one is the same kind of essence, energetic upgrades. They're sacred symbols. That means that you are getting spiritual messages all the time to raise your vibrations and manifest your visions. So that is, Joyce, what they're telling you. Uh, boy, oh, boy, that painting. I moved all the paintings. I can't even show you that one. Okay, energetic upgrades. Yes. So, guys, just so you know, we're all receiving these messages. All right, Marie, I see you. Heather, I want to just comment on this. Heather, Nicole, uh, one of the things I am looking on is collaborating with people who do this kind of work, sharing energies and essences because we are not alone here. We are stronger together and calling all angels. It is our time to be our unique self, to be that wonderful energy so that people look at you and go, oh my God, I love you when you are in the room. I feel that presence. I feel greater than I can. I feel like I can accomplish. I can sell my work. I could do this. I could do that. I too can be a miracle master. So <clears throat> Heather, that's for you. Now, Joyce, did I do your card? Yes, I did. I did. I did. That was the angel activation for you, my love. Angel activation. And now I came to Marie from Scotland. All right. Yes, we go. Yes, we go for Marie. Ooh. You know, it's interesting, Marie. They told me to use the original deck, these earth messengers. I love Scotland. I've never been there. But when I hear a Scottish voice, like, okay, I'm really, I'm really like passionate about Outlander. It's the voice. Oh my God. It's just the voice. It's like I've heard it. I think, I think. I don't know. I think my angels like sing to me in that Scottish tone. Okay, love. Oh my God. All right. The master of miracles has come to you. He is in the first deck. His name is Serapis Bay. Ooh, just so happened. I actually brought a medallion of his. So if you want the medallion, let me know. They're like 35 and they have sacred geometry on the back. Who is he? He is the master that taught the the highest vibrational beings into the in the ancient world. He was the master of initiation. So this is the second time initiation has come up tonight. I was telling you that my 44 days was an initiation, a journey. And when we achieve that, we become a master of miracles. And he teaches us the way. So that is your message, hon, all the way up in, in um, Scotland. I hope that was Scotland. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Terry Lee. Hi, Terry Lee. Hi, Terry Lee. I'm just going to see who else is on here before we go. We have, oh, good. Some of you have commented. Some of you, okay. Oh, we go on forever and ever. Patricia, I just saw you up there, but I can't go there yet. Okay. Moving, moving down. Oh, there's Helen. Oh, gosh. Did I lose everyone? No. There we go. Terry Lee. Whew. I am conscientious. I may not be able to get to everyone. Hmm. I'm going to try, though. Terry Lee, because, you know, I want everyone to understand this. If you get a personal reading, that's fabulous. But know that there is only one reason you're on this, this line tonight, and that's because you are on the path of initiation. You are on the path of miracles. And so every one of the cards in this pile, all right, belongs to you just as much as it belongs to me. Okay. So, whew, but here we go. 
All right, where am I? Where am I? All right, Terry Lee. This card is for Terry Lee. This card is a messenger for you. Time for you to share your gifts. The goddess Isis, the, the divine feminine, to really start to express your divine essence, your divine feminine, your gifts and knowledge. Notice, beloveds, that all of these cards are about sharing who you are, not for my benefit, not even for your benefit. Although I will say that if you keep holding your energy back, <laughs> you're, you will get ill. So share your gifts. It's really time. Okay. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Sue, you agree? Sue, I have this. Um, it's what I wanted to tell you. The Ankh with these Egyptian eyes. It's a crazy Ankh. All right. Let me know if you want me to get you a picture of it. Um, Rhonda, hi. Well, am I all lit up? Okay. It's only when I go back that sometimes I see. Sometimes everything makes noise. When I'm, when I do this too. I'm so happy you like this. Hi, Christy. Really? You can have a card. Why aren't you drawn back to the angels? You are an angel. Christy, Christ like going beyond the call of, of duty, knowing who you are. So when we work with the angelic realms, they have promised they will fluff your wings and be with you. So Christy, the angelic portal, stepping through these gates, um, they are calling you to be one with them. Your family, your friends are all in these realms. And so, wow. Okay. Um, Angie, I, I'm telling you, I, I don't know at this moment. But the card does say it all, whatever the card was. This energy that I am sharing with you, it's not me. I am a paintbrush for the divine. When I come out here and I say, I am Joan of Angels, it is Joan of Angels. It's not Dr. Joan. It's not Joan. It's not the sister Joan, the friend Joan, the this Joan. No. I invoke Joan of Angels. I invoke my wings. I invoke so that those messages that come through are of the highest frequency for you, just as the art is as well. And so, guys, I will promise you that just by being in this energetic field, just by sharing these miracle messages and experiencing them, you too will have an energetic upgrade and update. So, again, these are the Masters of Miracles. If you're new to the coming on, this is the deck I created, or they created the math. Excuse me, I can never say I. I just dropped my pendulum. The master, do I want to bend down again? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, so on the red carpet, I dropped my purse. Talk about dropping things. Thank God the announcer said, no, she would pick it up. Can you imagine that? All right, um, this one is that medallion, if I didn't get to show it. All right. Miracle messages, again, these messages are to help lift us up, help us remind us of the miracle pathway. And again, if you do get the deck between now and the end of the month, 28th, you get your 50% off the soul activation reading. All right, love. Let's see. Who else? Hmm. Ooh, someone said thank you for your words. Yes, you're a rainbow warrior. Okay, you confirmed. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, sweetheart. Amanda, to start selling your art. Whoa. So, you know, honey, they're telling me your art is from the heart and that it makes people feel special. And so that is the energy you have to come from, that your art is like a miracle. And so wave miracle wands all around your art. That is what I do. I talk to my art. I go, who do you want to go to? Where's your human? Um, so let's do miracles around her art, okay? And Miracle Krishna is waving his miracle wand all over your art. So believe it, honey. Teresa Austin, a message for you is going to come through right now. Guys, 
If the readings are good, leave a comment, leave a um, review my Joan of Angel. Please like the Joan of Angel shop. Those things are important on Facebook. Leave a review. Share it with your friends. I have trouble posting and sharing. I get spam. Listen, yesterday I tried to just share my video and it was it was taken down as spam. So God knows I need help. Need your help. I do. I need your help. How can I be in an angel brigade alone? Like who's got my the wings here? So love, let's go into the temples together, Therese. Go into the temples. And this is a very powerful painting. Guys, all of these cards, there's a video on YouTube for or at Awakening to Miracles 2018. 44 cards. I did 44 videos. You could scroll on YouTube and find the video. That This is this one I did twice, by the way. That's how powerful it is. Somewhere in the 20s and somewhere in the 40s. But go listen to those messages because that'll go deeper into what we're really talking about. All right, guys, I am strolling through. Thank you for for um, confirming. Oh, I make you smile. Hello, beautiful Michelle, 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 my bell. These are words that go together well, my Michelle. Someone values and appreciates you very much. That's what they want you to know. I have chills, honey. Okay, gorgeous paintings. Yes, and so it is so gorgeous painting. I have come to celebrate myself as an artist. Sharon, did you see the cards? Are you on that website? They're so beautiful. And as I said, anyone who gets a deck now gets that 50% off a soul activation with me. Terry Lee, hi, sweetheart. And Helene Burke, I know you. And there's Gayla Daly. Whew. Okay. So how can I do this? Okay. Yeshua. Yeshua for Terry Lee. Hello, Yeshua, the beloved one. He's reminding you to walk with the beloved. Compassion in your heart. Compassion, compassion, compassion. You know, guys, it's so easy to criticize. It's so hard to go, that person's driving me crazy. And I can understand why, because I'm standing up here looking at their whole life purpose. And I have such compassion for the journey that they took. So Spirit says, have compassion for yourself and others. We know what it took for you to just get here. I love these cards. Again, they said, sleep with them for seven days, and you too can be an oracle like me. Helene Burke, you are a sweetheart. I see you every so often. Thank you, love, for, for sharing and being here and for being part of the Temple of Balance. She's the one right behind me. About time, about time I pulled her. All's unfolding for your highest good. Surrender and no. So this is the time of surrender. What does surrender mean? Surrender says just let's do it. Let's just trust. Let's just know. Let's stop stopping the flow. In other words, let's go with the flow. Hi. I hope that helps, Helene. And leave me comments if it does. I'll get to you. Gayla Daly. Oh, my God. I've met so many dailies recently. That means that you're to say your prayers daily. Angel Runway. Hop on board. Get your luggage, all your bags are packed and you're ready to go. That means that you've done the work. Drop the luggage, drop all the nose and go, okay? Changes in the air, time to move forward fearlessly. All right, now I get to my dear friend, M. Patricia Blum, who has one of the most dog, gorgeous dogs I have ever seen. Animal companions, what a soul. I hope he's okay, or she. I just see the face right now. So a miracle message for you, beloved. Spirit wants you to know they know your struggles. They're sending you in an interdimensional angel who's full of light and love and laughter and joy to brighten up your day and to show you the way. She will help you get new ideas, limitless thinking, so you can think outside the box. All right? Mwah. New ideas. Think outside the box. All right. Let's see how we're doing now. So, guys, you know that the cards you can get right up here. Let's see. I had to change devices. She came back. 
Will my federal suit succeed? Oh my goodness, that's very, I know you would like the picture. Sue, I went to get it published today, printed to, went over to the printers. Did you know everything's closed? But I do have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a photo of this um, Ankh. Okay, Amanda Gala, beautiful spirit. I'm going up to the top now, working my way down to see Jennifer. It's actually several women in the suit together. So here's what I say to lawsuits, my love. To lawsuits, I say the following. We take angels in the courtroom. We visualize. We send angels to the courthouse. We send angels to the judge, the jury, all the people involved, the defense and the plaintiffs. <sighs> to the one who does the legal secretary to the paperwork. We raise that vibration so that there is only the vibration of love. And we ask our angels for that which is for the highest good to manifest. And we call forth the violet flame to clear away anything that is not for the highest good, to purify that which is divine so that that which is for the highest good, that which is healing, that which will resolve these conflicts, be made manifest. And so it is. That is your reading, my love. All right. Okay. Now, I think I've talked up with everyone. Huh. No, there's a new one. There's Jody. All right, Jody. So what you don't know is you're a J. All Js have a wing in heaven for them, even though it's not ready for you yet. So that should make you feel better, knowing that there is a wing. And there's only one card here left. Because all the other cards are either on the floor. I couldn't have done 44 readings. Okay, again, the Celestial Temple. Well, this is so funny, the Golden Temple, because I did this twice. I did two videos of it. So really go to the YouTube and catch those videos because they were profound each time. When we go through this, that means you are being called. It means the Golden Angels are literally taking you by the hand and saying, come on, get over here. We are ready for you. All right, my dear friends and loved ones, this planet, this dimension, all dimensions, I am so honored you joined me. Beyond belief, okay? Beyond belief that you have taken time from your precious lives to be here, to come into the studio. If you like the work, share it. If you love what I do, join me, communicate, work with us. Be part of an angel brigade. Share your miracles. Like, what else? Oh, yeah. Wear the angel art. All right? Take home and, and have the, me the messengers, the cards. Surround yourself in high frequency so you, too, can walk the miracle pathway. Jennifer, you're crying. Oh, my gosh. That's just so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Jo Jody, did I read your card already? I'm getting so fish day here. It's a Yiddish word for crazy. Ah, oh, this is for Jody. Okay. Jody, the Supreme Source. This one I painted when I wanted to get to heaven. And I said, can you show me a key? Just give me a key, a key, any key to get me there. And that's what it is. You can see this is the Supreme Source. And he says, walk with me and we will get to those realms. Oh boy, Jennifer, if you can just put a review and, and again, if you get the deck, 50% off your miracle activation reading. I don't know. I think that's great. Oh, my God. I just had you appear. We'll go to your page. That's so cute. Emily, I don't know who if you got a reading or not, Emily, but I thank you for joining us. You've been listening to Joan of Angels. What's new? Well, soul activation readings, the miracle messenger cards, the divine heart of Mother Mary. This is for you, Emily. She's telling me to remind you, you're perfect. Hmm. We are all perfect. Even I am perfect. You are perfect. So knowing that, let's just take this moment to really anchor this in. I just want to tell you again, I'm so grateful that you're working with me, that you're here. Um, this is part of my miracle awakening. This is part of my initiation to do this work. I am that teacher. They called me. They told me that I am a miracle master. I am 
to teach miracle mastery and to be that ascension what did they call me an ascension oracle trainer god knows they didn't even define these things when they tell you just do it guys if you are getting messages act on them listen hear and act on them meanwhile share the work i love you join my page i am joan of angels from this dimension all dimensions calling out across the ethers to you step in step on the miracle pathway remember who you are we love you always bye for now